Hello heroes, and welcome back to Basic Gameplay Principles. Today, we're going to give you an overview of the depth and complexity of Might and Magic Hero 7, so you can start playing straight away and enjoy everything the game has to offer. Whether you are a strategy games fan or a Heroes fan that hasn't played in a while, this video is for you. In Hero 7, gameplay is divided into three main phases, Adventure, Combat, and Town Management. For now, we will focus on the Adventure phase. On the Adventure map, you control one or more heroes that represent both a character and the army he's leading. You see your hero and his nearby environment. You can rotate the camera with the Page Up and Page Down keys, and move your camera on the map with the Up, Down, Left, and Right keys. The black area around your point of view is called the Fog of War. What happens there will remain hidden until you move your hero into that zone. You can't see what's happening behind the fog, but the minimap on the bottom left still indicates where you are. To move your hero around the map, just double-click where you want to go. You can pick up resources, make allies, encounter enemies, and visit buildings that grant you bonuses and resources. Hero 7 is a turn-based strategy game. That means that you will be able to do a specific number of actions before passing the turn to your opponent. How far you can travel depends on the movement points your hero has. Those points are represented in the green movement gauge on the left of your hero's portrait. Each time you move your hero around the map, your movement point will decrease. When it reaches zero, you can no longer move your hero and have to end your turn by clicking on the hourglass in the bottom right corner. One turn equals one day. When you pass seven days, a new week starts. Some events only happen after a defined amount of time. For example, towns will produce new units every week for you to collect, and you may encounter situations where you know enemies will attack you in a set amount of weeks. Each week, something special will also happen in Ashan. Sometimes there will be no particular effect, but sometimes these weekly events will have an impact, good or bad, on your game. We are now in the enemy's area of control. By conquering other fortresses, you will grow your area of control. Mines and other buildings will produce resources on a regular basis, as long as they are under your control. And you can then use these resources to build your fortress. Be careful. Your enemies will try to weaken you by attacking your areas. They can plunder your mines or even conquer your fortress. During your journey through Ashan, you will sometimes uncover secret passages that will take you to an underground map. Keep your eyes open and be sure not to miss them. These secret caves and caverns often hide treasures and scarce resources and can help you to progress through the map, avoiding the dangers of the outside. The UI gives you access to your quest log, hero sheet, stats and class, your hero's equipment, and the hero's skill wheel. Your quests are displayed on the right of the screen. You can hide them by clicking the eye icon below them. To open the quest menu, you can press Q, click on the scroll icon, or click on any of the displayed quests. On your quest menu, you can choose to display only main quests or secondary quests. Clicking the crown icon next to the quest's name will localize it on the minimap. Alternatively, you can click the Localize Quest button. Each quest will grant you rewards upon its completion. The helmet icon will open your hero's menu. Here, you will be able to manage your hero's equipment, see its stats and bonuses, and view its army and warfare units. Shift-clicking on a stack of units will split it into two identical parts. You can use this to multiply stacks of units and have a greater control over combat maps. We'll talk about army, warfare units, and combat maps in more depth in a separate video. The Skills icon will open up the Skill Wheel, a skill system central to your hero's progress, where you can also see his special ability. The more experience points you earn, whether by completing quests, fighting enemies, or capturing buildings and resources, the more you will be able to unlock special skills. We will talk about the Skill Wheel in more depth in a future video. Each hero belongs to a class. Each faction has six classes, three might, three magic. 
A class defines the starting statistics of a hero and their skill wheel. Classes bring different play styles into effect. One is more aggressive, one more defensive, and one more balanced and adapted to town management and kingdom development. You can recruit additional heroes that have their own armies, equipment, and movement points. Multiple heroes can help you to explore faster and better, but it can also force you to divide your army. Your multiple heroes can also interact with each other in order to exchange equipment and units. To do so, bring them together and double-click on the other hero to open the exchange window. That's it for now. Don't miss out on the other tutorial videos. They can really give you a head start. Until then, be brave, heroes.